guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i am kimmy b and in today's video i am going to be jump starting getting back and on track um you guys know i did the whole update video i moved into my own house so i love it here um but to be completely honest because i took that time off of youtube for a while i have been lazy i have not been putting out content i actually have been recording content but I didn't like the content that I was recording because I went through a lot with this house. I'll talk about it a little later in the video. But yeah, basically what today I'm doing is it's Sunday. I'm getting myself back on track. Um, I'm content planning because today is the 26th, I believe. And the first will be next Friday. So I'm content planning for the month of October and moving forward because I am really just trying to get back into grind mode, like hustling and everything like that because I have goals. And there's some things that I still want to accomplish as far as accomplish as far as YouTube and everything. I want to get myself together today. Um, I just woke up, which is probably why I look a little ashy. But I'm about to go to my mom's house. She cooked dinner. I don't think I'm going to eat dinner, but we are going to go to... Um, like home goods and stuff because there's a few things that i want to pick up and then i'm coming home and i'm getting like i'm content planning i need to wash clothes i doubt that i'll wash clothes today though um but i'm gonna do some content planning and then i'm starting to get up early for work but if you have not go ahead and subscribe to my channel don't forget to like this video comment and turn on your post notifications so that you can get notified every time i upload a video so my lips are so dry i'm about to wash my face and uh, brush my teeth again because I took a nap. All right, so yeah, I just woke up, like I said, I'm about to brush my teeth and stuff because I, I took a bath earlier, I went to church, but I took a nap. Um, and so now I'm about to just clean my face and brush my teeth because I had makeup on and I don't know if all of the makeup got off when I used the wipe. And we don't like bad skin. But yeah, y'all, I really am trying to get back on track. Like I was saying, um, I took that time off of YouTube. Of course, I took it because I needed to do some stuff for my personal life. And um, I accomplished everything that I needed to accomplish in that time. But I also became lazy, you guys. So you guys know I work. I have a new job. And to be completely honest, I'm in training for a year. And training is not hard. So we're doing a lot of like readings and exercises and stuff like that. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about my job. Y'all know I'm on a macro level now. I'll talk more about that later. But yeah, so we're doing a lot of um, uh, just a lot of learning basically. Like it's basically like I'm in school again. But it's not hard. So like for instance, this month, tomorrow we have a unit test. Um, and it's open book and everything but basically I will say that out of the eight hours that I'm supposed to work a day I only work like the maximum of three hours if that just lay around and then I'll just lay around and I'll just like you know watch TV or do whatever and honestly I told myself like I have to get on a routine because I could be out here putting up content. I could be going to the gym, trying to get in shape again, because I fell off of that. And y'all know that's one of the main things that I want to do. So yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get back into that swing of, I'm trying to get back in the swing of things because I got lazy, I'm human. Um, so yeah, that's what this is all about, getting together. I really want to get back into like getting my hair done all the time. Granted, I'll work from home, but this is the best time. Like having a work-life balance is the best for me to be creative. I don't have a manager down my back. And my job, you guys, sorry. My job is literally like, I don't, it's literally, it's kind of like I'm a private contractor. Like I don't have my, my boss. Like we go, basically we get a caseload and with our caseload, we just have to, you know, complete it by a certain time and get certain things, like do follow ups by a certain time. Like when you get a case assigned to a case, you have 45 days to do your initial contact. Um, and I, like I said, I'll go more into my actual job because it's not like, it's not like micro um contacting clients so it's a little different but you have like 45 days to do your initial assessment 
on your client um, and then you do your assessment you're in contact with your clients and then you have to do your like your follow, follow up and stuff like that and it's like no specific time to like close out the case or anything so yeah and basically what my boss said is like you know it's kind of like you're an independent contractor we don't check up on you or anything like that all we do is make sure that your case like you're meet, you're meeting the days for your cases making sure you're noting your account appropriately but other than that we are not like down your back we're not checking to see when your breaks are when your lunches are we're not doing that that's why I said like that's why I'm able to go to sleep so much at work because they don't do nothing they don't check none of that they just look for your work that's all that they worry about everything else that little petty stuff that like other jobs worry about they don't worry about so that I love this about my job um and then we're actually supposed to travel for um for training but because of COVID we haven't traveled and I'm really hoping and praying that we get to travel for the last two trainings because I know the first two units were not able to travel um they haven't gotten approved yet but I'm just really praying that we get to travel for um for our last two trainings but yeah so oh god I got water everywhere but yeah so I've been you know enjoying that but then I had some leaking in my house like the first week I stayed in my house I think Hurricane Ida happened and we had some of that rain <clears throat> and my house leaked my basement leaked my ceiling and my main room has leaked <clears throat> and then my shower one day I was taking a bath and I was sitting in the tub taking a bubble bath and then my shower leaked um so i had a lot going on and i feel like the devil was just trying me back to back and then also <laughs> i went to the hospital twice i had some health issues that i end up in the hospital two days um i ended up in the hospital i went on the in the hospital september the 4th they did test couldn't find anything went back to the hospital on labor day which was september the set September the 6th and still couldn't find anything had to do a follow-up with my primary care doctor I only figured out what the issue was got some medicine but I also am allergic to penicillin and the medicine that they gave me had penicillin in it so I had a reaction to that so it was just like every week it was something like I was in physical pain something was going on with my house it was just a lot and that's why I did not upload because Although I do want to be transparent with you guys and I want you guys to see me go through those moments. I feel like I needed to do that on my own. Like some things are just not for everybody and I need to get through that on my own. And to be completely honest, like I probably, well I didn't have any breakdowns or anything while I was going through it. I had a breakdown like after everything was getting better because I'm just, I was just like, you know, you know i prayed for everything i got a job i got a house everything that i wanted and then the devil stepped in the devil always steps in when he knows you're about to approach greatness so anytime anytime the devil like you're about to, you're going through a storm don't be like why me why me why me you change your mindset to oh it's something greater that's what that's why the devil was trying to stop me so yeah when I thought about that I was just like man like the devil is trying to stop me from reaching great greatness I got this house and for to be completely honest probably until yesterday like Friday Saturday I was just comfortable in my house like I wasn't comfortable I didn't want to be here I told my mom like I wanted to move back home I didn't know much about this house let me take y'all off of here so I can like keep moving hold on So I can keep moving because we waste some time just sitting here. But yeah, I had told my mom, oh, are we are we zoomed in? Oh, we are. Okay, we were zoomed in. But yeah, basically I was just like telling my mom, like maybe this wasn't the house for me, you know, this, that, and the third. Um and my mom was like, no, listen, we need to pray. We need to pray over your house, which I did. I prayed over my house when I got it. Y'all know for sure I prayed over this house. Um, and I just still kind of just felt like this wasn't my house. Like, this just didn't feel home. Like, when I would go to my parents' house, I felt comfortable there. And then I would come back home. I don't, I noticed that. Then I went through a transition of living on my own. I never really, like, 
lived on my own I always had a roommate or something like that like when I was in college I had a roommate and then I lived with my parents so there was just like that transition there um of being on my own like I never thought that I would be sad about being on my own like I never thought about it but like just staying here and being here by myself I really start to get I don't like to use the word depressed but I just started to get depressed and realized that you know I don't want to live alone like I do want a family and things like that but I had to remember like this is not up for everything and my friend shout out to my friend Justin because you know when I was going through all of my oh my alarm going off when I was going through all of my emotions my friend was just like, you know, this is short term. This is not long term. You just have to remember the current plan. And so, yeah, I, I have to remember that this is my starter home. This isn't the home that I'm going to live in forever. This is the home that I wanted to start so that I can get into real estate because that's one of my goals. Another issue is that, as you can see, the house is empty. My furniture hasn't came yet. I got this TV sitting here that I haven't been able to um, put up because none of my furniture came because of COVID. You hear me? Like, you heard that, right? Like, that that kind of scared me. I swear I just heard something. Like, okay. Like, did y'all not hear that? Okay, maybe it's me just tripping. But yeah, but basically, feeling like, you know, like, my house not furnished. Like, my bedroom set hasn't came. That's still on back order. So, I'm still sleeping in the same bed that I was sleeping in my parents' house. So it's just all of these things that was going on and I just was not comfortable. And then I had to take a moment like, Jasmine, this ain't you. You know, we get up out of these situations. So my skin looks so good. We get up out of these situations. So I had to pray. I had to get on my knees and pray because that's the most important. I had to get on my knees every day. I had to find my time for God. I don't start my day without talking to God because, listen, God brought me this far. He ain't bring me here for no reason. My furniture will come. It's already ordered. It's already paid for. You just have to wait for it to get here. These are small things. These are things that may, and for some people this may not, like I never thought that I would have a breakdown about being alone or a breakdown about my house not being furnished. But when you in it, you never know. Like when you in it, you never, like never say never. Cause listen, I was going through it. Like when I first got this house, I was in here twirling. Like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this house. Da, da, da. And then when I went through all of that stuff, like, if y'all see my ceiling right there, that's where it started to leak at. I don't know if y'all can see like the patch. That's where it started to leak at. They still haven't came and fixed it because they have to sand it so that I can repaint it. Like, I was in here praising and then all of this stuff started to happen. And then I'm constantly looking at this stuff. And it's just like, where's my furniture? Where's my decoration? Where's the life that I wanted when I said I was going to move into my house? And it's like, wait, don't do that. Don't do that to yourself because it's going to happen. You're literally there. You literally have the furniture. It just has to come. The house, the way that you want your house to look, it's going to get there. And so, like, I was just kind of, like, down and depressed about that type of stuff. Um... And like I said, I don't like to use the word depressed. And I was just like, no, we don't We don't live in a place of misery. That's not me. We don't claim depression. We don't claim sickness because I told y'all I was in the hospital. We don't claim diseases. We don't claim nothing. We don't claim that. That's not what we do. We have confidence. We believe that God is a way maker. He makes ways out of no way. He, he you know what I'm saying? Like God creates miracles. Like miracles can happen and you are a child of God and you have faith and your faith is way more stronger than what your fear is presenting at this moment. So we getting back to what we doing. We getting back to something that makes us happy. We're about to go get us some stuff for our house. I have to take trash to my parents house because um my parents neighborhood has dumpsters and my neighborhood don't oh i need to empty that trash upstairs I, it's okay my neighborhood don't they pick up the trash on friday and i went to put the trash out at eight o'clock on friday and the trash was already picked up so i need to figure out what time the trash comes so yeah let me go though this trash actually stinks let me go and let me get to my mom's house and i'll t i'll pick the camera back up once we get into like the store Good morning guys. So it's the next day. I know I did not bring you guys along with me when I went to Home Goods with my, me and my mom, but I'm so sorry. So today is Monday. It is 27th, the 27th. Um, and it's like eight o'clock. 
and so yesterday i went to home goods like i said when i left <laughs> i went to home goods with my mom i am going to give you guys a haul because we actually went to tj maxx home goods and home depot um and it was just a lot you guys so i forgot to pick up i actually left the camera in the car so i didn't bring it but i'm going to give you guys a haul a little later after i like get ready for the day i'm going to show you guys everything that i got um right now um i use i start work at eight o'clock but i think i told you guys yesterday that we are taking a test today and the test does not come out until nine so i'm waiting on the email for the test i have gotten up earlier today i know that i said that you know this is supposed to be the first day of like me getting back in order and i got up early today i got up at like six o'clock um i made some phone calls already about some stuff for my house they're supposed to come and fix so I did that. So I should be done around 11 o'clock. And from there, I'll have the remainder of the day to do anything. So I think I'm going to go to the gym. I also need to pick up my mirror. Because the mirror couldn't fit in the car last night. So I need to go pick up my mirror. And what else? Oh, and then today, I'm just going to be doing some editing and stuff like that. So yeah, I am on track. I am on track. But right now, I am about to get up and uh, get me some coffee. I just got home from the gym it's 5 30 ish and I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I got from home goods because I didn't show you guys last night and I got some other stuff like that I recorded in another video but the video obviously didn't make it to YouTube so I'm just gonna show y'all again in this vlog and it's all from home goods so I was like perfect so this is the glass scale this was $16.99 and then I got this mirror. Let me lift it up. So I got this mirror. It's two mirrors. Um, and they're gold. And they look like this. And I got this for $69.99. And the reason why I got this is because I'm changing out the mirrors in my bathroom. So my half bathroom between my kitchen and my living room. I want to change the mirror out. I guess I'll show y'all that later on. And then I have a bathroom in my basement my focus then i have a bathroom in my basement and i don't like that mirror either so i'm going to change it out i might leave it gold or i might change one of them to black because the half bathroom my theme is like black white gray so i kind of wanted to um i'm out of breath y'all i kind of wanted to do um black but yeah it came two in a pack for 69 dollars, which is not bad at all so that's that and then I got this picture right here and this picture is going to go in one of I want it to go in my main bathroom because it goes with all of the decor that I'm about to show y'all but I don't know if it's going to go so we're going to see um it does fit on the wall but me my mom and my dad like held it up and they don't think that I should put it in there next thing I got I didn't get this from I didn't get this from home goods but i did purchase this so this is a little it's a gold plate and i basically want to put this i have a double sink in my ba my main bathroom and i want to put this between the double sink and then put like my soaps and stuff on it and then i also want to change the knobs so i brought some knobs from ikea as well i don't know if y'all can see them but these are just some gold knobs that i bought from ikea um, because I'm going to change the knobs on my cabinet to gold because y'all will see like kind of the theme for my main bathroom. Alright, and so then I got this rug right here. I'm not going to take it all the way out of the bag, but I got this rug right here for my main bathroom. Because this is kind of like the theme I'm going for. It's like this brownish gold and then a gold and then like cream color. So like mainly neutral colors. And so this is the shorter rug that goes like by the toilet. And then this is the longer rug that goes by the tub. And I got that. And I got that from Home Goods. And I got that for $14.99. 
And so to go with it, just to continue the theme, these are my towels. So these, is, again, this is kind of like the theme I'm going for, like that neutral color, gray, white, like that khaki, whatever. And I just got two of these, and these were $7.99 a piece. And then I got some white washcloths to go with it. And then this is my shower curtain. I don't know if it will show on camera, but basically this is kind of like um, a champagne gold whitish uh, shower curtain and it goes with everything perfectly. So I got that. Um, that's the shower curtain. I'm trying to put keep everything in the bag because it's funny. All right, and then what else did I get? So then I got some more towels. And these are kind of just like, they may look white on camera or gray, but they're more like a nudish color. So I got two of these, and these were $10.99. I got these from Home Goods. No, I got these from TJ Maxx. I'm sorry. Yesterday. And so, like I said, I got two of them. And then I got this picture here. So this is going to go in my half bathroom. I want to put like shelves above my toilet. And then I want to put like a picture. I want to put um, like some, I want to put like a picture and some flowers and stuff like that. And so I got this. And so this says, have a mind that is open to everything and attached to nothing. And I really love that. Like I really loved it and I had to get it. I got this from TJ Maxx and it was $14.99. Um, and then I also got some washcloths to match the towels that I had and they were $3.99 a piece. So I got this shirt. This isn't home decor, but I got this cute shirt because fall is upon us. Well, fall is actually here. We are actually in fall. So I got this cute shirt, this cute long sleeve brownish orange shirt and I got it for $15, which is really cute. I can't wait to wear that. And then I got this as well from TJ Maxx, which I don't even know what it is. Oh, it's a candle. It's a candle to go into that bathroom. And so as y'all can see, it kind of matches like that nudish cream color. And this is called White Sage Pumpkin. I actually may burn it now. Mm, it smells so good. So I haven't put any of this stuff up in my main bathroom yet because I want to paint it. So I think I'm going to paint it this weekend so I can put this in there. And so this will be something that goes like in the middle on that gold plate. So just for visual, it'll be something like this. And then it may have like a flower or something. So that's what this plate is for. But it smells so good. Again, it's called White Sage Pumpkin. And I got this from TJ Maxx. Oh, that smells so good. Okay. And then the last thing that I had, and I got this from TJ Maxx as well, is just the soap dispenser. And it, like, again, it matches, like, it's like brass or whatever. And it matches the theme that I'm going for for my main bathroom. And so, yeah, that's basically all I have. I got. We did go to Home Depot to look for some shelves. And I end up getting this Glad, um, plugins i got some refillable ones because the ones that i have they're obviously burnt out and so this is the cashmere wood and it says crafted with um with notes of sandalwood and jasmine this smells really good so if you ever go to the store and you see this one it's cashmere wood sandalwood and jasmine it smells so good this is what my house smells like so if y'all ever want to know like how does her house smell i'm pretty sure y'all don't but yeah let me get out the window yeah that's pretty much all that i have um, right now, this is how it's looking. I need to pick it up and put everything back. And then this picture, if y'all didn't, weren't able to see it. So this picture really represents how the theme, the colors for my bathroom. So that gold, that brownish color, the white, the gray, the dark gray. So this is exactly the colors that I want. And as you can see, like the rug matches it, the towels matches the gold everything matches so i definitely want to put this in my bathroom and yeah i'm so excited let me know in the comment section if you guys want me to do an empty house tour because my house is still technically empty but yeah i'm very happy um i will say after purchasing my house and getting a new job like i feel very content and i don't know if that's a good thing but i am learning to be okay and enjoy this moment because i prayed to be here you guys i prayed to get out that room where i opened up every vlog on the closet door and i'm like hey guys welcome back to my channel like i prayed to be here and i'm here so i want to enjoy my house i want to enjoy my time here 
like this is the dream like and i talked about it all the time on my channel where i just wanted to have my own space to record to be loud and i have it like i'm here so i'm super grateful i'm staying in this moment but i also feel like what else is there for me to accomplish and i'm just happy to bring you guys along so down below let me know if you guys want to see like more you know videos of me like decorating my house and things like that because i do want to bring that to my channel i also want to bring just me being transparent more in my channel about how i feel i want to talk about dating because dating is interesting talk about finances i want to talk about purchasing a home this is not my forever home like i said i want to have a family i want to have kids this is just my starter home because eventually i want to get into real estate and then i can airbnb airbnb this house out i can rent it out whatever and make money off of it but for now this is my home and i'm in, i'm excited like i'm excited to be here because we talked about it so much we talked about it so much and we are here you guys we are here like i could literally cry but i'm not gonna cry right now i am really grateful like i walk around my house and i'm just like <sighs> i pray for this and i have it so just know that prayer works just be still allow god to be god because as y'all can see i'm a walking testament okay so yeah let me go let me finish up clean up figure out what i want to do with the rest of my day i'll bring you guys along my journey and that's the end of this video this is me getting back restarting showing y'all my house all of that good stuff y'all i will see y'all in my next video i hope y'all enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on those post notifications so that you can get notified every time i upload a video and i'll see you in my next one